anyone with a smartphone and an internet connection can post a video, but what makes a good video? How do you make a video engaging for your audience? How do you leave them hanging by your every word and begging for more of your amazing content? Let's talk about it in today's video. We're talking about how to make a video engaging. First, we're gonna talk about what an engaging video actually looks like. Then we'll talk about my best tips for keeping an audience engaged for the entire video and beyond. Then I'll tell you the story about how I started my YouTube channel and got traction just with my iPhone and a lamp with no lampshade. Guys, you don't need much to be successful. You just need to start. I'll show you exactly all the steps that I did. What makes an engaging video? Well, for me, when I think of how I'm engaged by a video, I wanna be hanging on the edge of my seat, excited to see what's happening. I want the visuals to be captivating. I, I want it to tug at my heartstrings or make me laugh or evoke some kind of emotion enough that I keep watching all the way through. And that's the best thing that you can hope for with your audience, that when they're watching your content, not only are they watching it, but it gets the wheels in their mind turning, or it gets them laughing, or it gets them, you know, thinking. It can be thought provoking. That can be engaging too. And what's gonna make your videos more successful and, and put in front of more people, no matter what platform you're on, is watch time. You know, on YouTube, where you're watching this video right now, if I have a 10 minute video and people watch 80, 90% of it, YouTube is gonna put that video in front of more people because of the data showing that people were captivated and engaged by this content. If I have a 10 minute video and people only watch 20 seconds, YouTube is gonna think, eh, that video wasn't good. They're not gonna put it in front of more people. YouTube and any platform wants to keep viewers, wants to keep content consumers on their platform. So they're gonna put content in front of more people that is proven to keep people engaged. So that's where it's our job to create engaging videos. I'm so glad you're here, aren't you? The other thing that defines engagement and is valuable to the platforms is them actually engaging by liking, commenting, subscribing from the video, which by the way, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be teaching you content like this every single week to help you to scale your business to six, seven, even eight figures. I have some clients that have reached eight figures following these strategies. And the best way to get that engagement is of course by creating these hooks in your videos that keep people captivated by evoking that emotion through storytelling, which we'll talk about in a moment, or just straight up asking for it. You know, I asked you, would you hit that subscribe button for me? But I'd also love to know from you, who are people that you watch that you are so engaged by or that maybe you see their content and they have tons of engagement. There's tons of comments. You can see that people are, are watching it. They're enjoying it. I'd love to know because I love consuming that content and learning from them and what they're doing well. So if you do me another favor, comment below and let me know some of your favorite content creators that you're engaged by. Now let's talk about more of the strategies that you can use to keep your audience engaged for an entire video and beyond, because even after that video is over, it doesn't mean that the relationship with them is over. You can be leading them into more ways that they could be consuming your content or even purchasing from you, becoming a paying client. One of my favorite ways to keep an audience engaged and one of my favorite ways to consume content is through storytelling. I mean, I think of my favorite movies that I've ever seen, and I grew up watching tons of Disney movies, and as I got older, studying the storytelling behind Disney and all these amazing writers and storytellers and movie producers and all the magic that goes into it. Think of your favorite movie. And have you ever wondered why is it that you're so on the edge of your seat or you're so captivated by that story? When I think of that protagonist, that main character, why am I so emotional about their story? You know, when we watch their trials and their tribulations, we see them hit rock bottom, we see them climb their way up. And because of that experience that we've gone through with them throughout these two hours of watching this movie together, we cheer louder when they win because we watch what they had to go through. We watch them hit rock bottom, we, we watch them fight the villain and, and overcome those big struggles, and we cheer louder when they win, whether that means that they won the race or got the girl or landed the dream job. Think about any movie that if you just got to the end and it was like happily ever after and you didn't see the villains that they had to fight and the things they had to overcome to get there, you just think, well, yeah, whatever. He has a good life. But when you actually experience it with them, that brings you on that emotional journey. How can you do that for your audience to bring them on an emotional journey with you? One of the ways that I like to do that is through storytelling. And I've created this framework to help you follow an easy storyline that will keep your audience engaged. It's called the Elsa framework. Yes, Elsa as in like the Disney Snow Queen, but for these purposes, do not let it go. ELSA is an acronym that will help you to follow this formula for any story you tell on any platform, no matter 
what piece of content. The E in Elsa stands for epiphany. So before you create any piece of content, what's the epiphany? What's that aha moment? What's the big takeaway that you want them to have when they are consuming that piece of content? What do you want them to walk away with that like, oh my gosh, that blew my mind, that changed my life, or help them to overcome a limiting belief? The L in Elsa is for lesson. What's the lesson? What's the tangible takeaway that they can walk away with and maybe implement in their life? Now, instead of just telling it to them like step one, step two, step three, because we don't want to be boring like Charlie Brown teacher at the front of the classroom like wah, wah, wah. We want to give it to them through a story. The story that you get to tell them that brings them along that emotional journey, but has a moral to the story that they can take home and they remember. The best teachers, the best entrepreneurs, the best marketers are the ones that spend more time in the story because that's what makes it memorable. So we have epiphany, lesson, story. The A in Elsa is for application. What's the thing that they can now implement in their life? What's the takeaway? What's the exercise or what's the call to action that they can take the next step in implementing what it is that you've given them in that content? And the other strategy for making your videos engaging is to put you front and center as the attractive character to really pull out that confidence and charisma. And if that seems a little bit scary and intimidating, I'm going to share with you some stories that might help you to see how you can easily step into this persona. Now, just as a disclaimer, I'm not telling you to fake it till you make it. And I'm not telling you to be someone that you're not. I'm telling you to be you louder. Let me tell you a story about Marilyn Monroe. Of course, we all know the beautiful Hollywood icon, Marilyn Monroe. She would do this thing where she would go into the public and she could be, you know, surrounded by a ton of people but she could decide if she wanted to be Norma Jean or if she wanted to be the glamorous Marilyn. And so she did this experiment where she'd be in the middle of Grand Central Station. She'd be with her photographer and she'd say, watch this. Do you want to see her? And with just a change in her body language, maybe she fluffed up her hair a little bit, she becomes her. Nothing changed other than just her energy. But moments later, she is engulfed by fans who moments earlier didn't even notice her. What changed? All she had to do was decide. And if you've ever heard of Sasha Fierce, you know that she decides too. Do you know who Sasha Fierce is? I'll give you a second. Do you know who Beyonce is? They're the same person. Sasha Fierce is Beyonce's, her alter ego. It's this personality that she steps into to become this fierce performer that we see on stage when she's giving it her all. And it's again, not that she's faking it or becoming someone that she's not, but she's created this persona that she steps into to perform in that fierce female way that we see. So if there's something that you need to do to step into that attractive character, the person that you already are, but just to enhance those qualities that you already have, that's what's gonna make you come across a lot more engaging on camera when you can get into state. And getting into state might just be listening to a good playlist or, or having people around you that bring out the best in you before you hit record on that camera. Some other tactical strategies that we use for making a video engaging is just in the editing. You know, sometimes we will use what we call attention resets, where we have the frame of the video that maybe it's it's full and wide like this and then we zoom in and then maybe we'll move to the right and then we'll move to the left or then we'll have a little picture come up on screen or then we'll put some b-roll that's demonstrating something that we're talking about this is subtly resetting your audience's attention instead of them just having one still shot for the entire video it's keeping it engaging by keeping those subtle movements in play you don't have to be super cinematic but i just want you to bring out that personality evoke emotion evoke humor even think about soap operas. Have you ever seen soap operas? Right before it cuts to the commercial break, there's always that cliffhanger that keeps you on the edge. It keeps that open loop. It hooks you in. Think of how you can do that throughout your content to keep people engaged and on the edge of their seat. You know, it doesn't take too much to get this going and to create engaging videos. When I first started creating videos for my YouTube channel, which you can totally go back to the beginning of my YouTube channel and you'll see them exactly how I started them. I was filming these videos in my basement. I used my iPhone and I used a lamp with no lampshade for lighting. Or sometimes I would go in front of a, a window for natural lighting. Just keep it simple. Most of the time when people ask me, well, what kind of camera should I use? I tell them the one you have. And most of us all have iPhones or some sort of smartphone that has a camera. What kind of lighting kit should I use? Well, sure, you can go on Amazon and buy something fairly cheap or inexpensive, but you can also use natural lighting. You can also use a lamp. It, you can really use anything. The most important thing is the content, the stories that you're telling and how 
how you're engaging with your audience. If you wanna learn more about creating content that converts into cash flow, I have a free training for you. If you click the link below, you can get access to that for free today. And guys, it doesn't take much. You can bootstrap all the way to seven figures. I did, I just crossed $2 million in revenue. And I started, like I said, with my iPhone and a lamp with no lampshade. You can do it too.